back. I'm Paso Kazemi. And I'm Harrison Martin. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, and we're here with your Distant Learning News. Sophomores, if you have items to return to school, such as athletic uniforms and equipment, band instruments, cameras, library books, or any textbooks, please check your emails to see what time you have to go tomorrow to return your items. Now let's check out information about joining cross country for next school year. Hi, CO students. This is Coach Lassiter here. I am here to invite you to join the cross country team. We will begin practices sometime in June, hopefully. We are awaiting approval from the CIF and the district office. You do not have to have any running experience to join the cross country team, just a willingness to work hard, to be a part of something that is a lot of fun and to improve your running significantly. If joining the cross country team is something that you're interested in, then please email me through Synergy, or you can email me directly at my school email address, A-L-A-S-S-E-T-T at E-G-U-S-D dot net. I know this is backwards, so bear with me. Um, A-L-A-S-S-E-T-T at E-G-U-S-D dot net. Two A's, two S's, two T's at E-G-U-S-D dot net. I need your name, your student ID number, your contact information, cell phone and email address, as well as your parents' information so I can send all of you information regarding cross country. If you know for sure you're interested and returning athletes, you need to go to athleticclearance.com and start filling out the necessary paperwork to get cleared for cross country. Athleticclearance.com. Once you're on there, you're going to click on Consumer Soaks High School and begin filling out the paperwork. Would love to see you all out. Look forward to seeing my returning athletes as well. Take care and go Wolfpack. Do you want to participate in the Wolf Howl? At 8.30 p.m. sharp today, open your windows or go outside in our CO Spirit Wear and Howl a few times for one minute from 8.30 to 8.31 p.m. Invite your parents and siblings as well. The hope is that we can get our whole COHS community to do this at the same time. Make sure to take pictures and send them to chswolfpack1 at gmail.com. They may be included in the next Wolfpack newsletter. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Alex McCarty. I was never that guy who had a lot of school spirit, and honestly, sometimes I still believe that. But the way things ended this year broke my heart, I can't even lie. It sucks that this class missed out on all the activities that were coming up, but at least hopefully we already made enough memories to make up for that. When I joined Wolfpack TV, I had no idea what to expect, because Mr. Young's kind of forced me in somehow. But honestly, I'm glad that he did. Most of my close friends graduated class of 2019 and 18, so being able to meet new people through Wolfpack TV is something I don't regret at all. I had a lot of good times with the majority of the people in the class, and I can't wait to make even more memories in the future once the virus stuff blows over. I really don't have much else to say besides thanking everyone and hoping everyone at home is staying safe. So yeah, thank you. Greetings Wolfpack, I'm Harrison Martin, here to say goodbye. During my years at COHS, I have made unlikely friendships with my fellow classmates and also my teachers. My relationships with the people I've met have helped me grow into a more mature and social person. I thank the teachers that helped me when I struggled and to the ones that made it worth coming in every day to your class. I will cherish our laughs and chats that we all had during passing period and in class. It's been an honor to have met you and I wish you all the best of luck in your future. Hey there Wolfpack, this is Lily Briel. I guess you probably don't recognize me. All the work I put into Wolfpack TV is more behind the cameras than in front of them. I've never even used this shirt to anchor before. I remember being an 8th grader seeing the high school cafeteria signing up for electives. Looking down at the list, I spotted video production 1 and immediately remembered all the fond memories I had of growing up making short films with my Legos and Barbies. My sister and I would come up with fantastical storylines with the Ninjago characters all the time. And yes, I went there. Can't do my senior goodbye without referencing my favorite Lego ninjas, can I? Anyways, it was that joyful feeling of creating I wanted to experience again that convinced me to take the class. Even before I knew this was step one of the broadcasting pathway, I remember how nervous I was walking into that classroom period five term two. 
The old classroom had poor ventilation and was cramped and unbearably warm all the time. When watching movies like The Fall or Sucker Punch, our big computers were always blocking the screen. But I loved it every second of it. It was only until later in my freshman year that I found out if I followed this academy, I'd be finding myself in Wolfpack TV. At first, I was nervous. I've always been a pretty shy person, so the idea of having to anchor in front of the whole school was just terrifying. But it was Mr. Young's telling the class that you would never be forced to anchor, and my own passion for the subject at hand that had me follow through with taking video production to my sophomore year and jumping into Wolfpack TV my junior year. Video production too is when my love for filmmaking really solidified. Getting more freedom to craft our own projects as well as analyze more movies, I realized how much fun it was to dissect a film based on its camera angles and mise en scene. Also, shout out to Sherry for being such a hardworking partner in video too. With this in mind, I dove right into Wolfpack TV excited to produce something the whole school will be able to see. Of course, I was still anxious to have to interact with so many more people and put myself out there, but this is where I gotta thank Paul Shock for getting into Wolfpack TV with me. I love you fam. You bring out the best in me and motivate me to step out of my comfort zone. I'm really glad I got to experience with Pack TV with you every step of the way. Also, you should thank you to Francesca, our director, for believing in me to become this year's secretary. I have to thank my predecessor, Tierra, as well. She put so much work into this program and helped lay the roots I grow today. I hope I made you proud. In general, I want to thank both last year and this year's broadcasting classes. You have all made first period for the last two years unbelievably fun and entertaining. It has really felt like a family, and that's something I'm always going to cherish. Of course, I have to give a shout out to my big sister. Although she has nothing to do with this pathway, she has been my personal cheerleader throughout my entire journey. So sorry I won't be having a live graduation, Kara. I know you and your friends really wanted to shout, Is that Lily Brielle from Wolfpack TV? at me as I crossed the stage. I want to end off with a massive thank you to Mr. Youngs. I'm sure it's been interesting to watch me go from the kid who was so nervous to talk about my thoughts in the movie we were watching in front of the whole class that I would wait until after the bell rang to share with you to becoming the secretary of Wolfpack TV and helping you out behind the scenes for our program. Thank you for giving me a home during high school, as well as helping me realize film is exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life. I never could have wished for a better high school experience. Well, that's all we have for today, Wolfpack. I'm Harrison Martin. And I'm Pasha Gazimi. Happy National Great Popsicle Day.